continuing the process of unpacking the MYP Unit Planner. In this video, we will consider two sections that describe the learning process, the Learning Experiences and Teaching Strategies section and the Formative Assessment section. The Learning Experiences and Teaching Strategies section of the Unit Plan needs to include enough detail to clearly describe your intentions for what students will do over the course of the unit and the order in which learning and teaching is intended to occur. As noted in the Inquiry Questions video, the unit's inquiry questions can be used as a framework for the learning process. Using the inquiry questions developed so far in the sample MYP Year 1 Design Unit, referenced in previous videos, we can see how the questions can provide scaffolded entry points into explorations of the ideas expressed in the unit's statement of inquiry. These questions can be used as prompts for specific learning engagements. As you develop the initial outline for the learning process, you may find that different and or additional inquiry questions are needed to expand the scope of the learning experiences. These questions can be added to the Inquiry Questions section of the Planner. It is also helpful to develop content-based questions that can be used as prompts for inquiries that help students explore the inquiry questions from a content-based perspective. As the unit progresses, both teachers and students can continue to develop additional questions to explore the statement of inquiry and unit content in greater detail. Different schools may have different requirements and or formats for this section of the unit plan. But in general, the description should provide at least brief details about when and how all aspects of the unit are developed. These details can include when and how students will explore the concepts, conceptual idea, and context expressed in the statement of inquiry. Explore the unit's inquiry questions develop in each of the identified objectives, inquire into the unit's content, and learn and practice the approaches to learning skills. It is also helpful to indicate when differentiation is provided, the unit's resources are used, formal and informal formative feedback and assessments occur, and the unit's summative assessment occurs or is developed. The description of the learning process should identify a variety of inquiry-based, engaging, and developmentally appropriate learning experiences. Remember that in the MYP, learning is a dynamic process with action and student agency as driving forces. Action involves learning by doing through practical real-world experiences and these types of learning opportunities should be clearly evident in the unit plan. Throughout the learning process, students need multiple opportunities to demonstrate their learning and to self-assess and receive feedback on their progress. Both informal types of formative assessment opportunities and formal formative assessment tasks can be identified in the unit plan. Informal formative assessment provides students with feedback that could include ongoing comments from teachers and peers during specific class activities or in response to specific student work, self-assessment reflections, and feedback on students' progress in implementing the approaches to learning skills that have been taught and practiced during the unit. Formal formative assessment tasks provide students with explicit feedback on the full range of knowledge, understanding, skills, and the criteria that are used to assess the summative task or tasks. Continuing with the MYP Year 1 example from design, the formative assessment of the unit plan could look something like this. In addition to providing guidance to students, formative assessment provides valuable information to teachers in terms of their students' readiness for success in completing the summative assessment task or tasks. Information gained through formative assessment may prompt teachers to consider additional ways in which to differentiate the unit content, learning process, and summative tasks, identify additional resources that could be provided, and reflect on how students are responding to the learning process 
and how to best meet the needs of their students. In the next video in this series, we will look at how these opportunities might be developed in the three final sections of the unit plan, differentiation, resources, and reflection.